hi guys welcome to the video today we are creating this crazy colorful rainbow EDC inspired festival makeup look I had so much fun creating this you guys I can't wait to show you um, I played around with a lot of color glitter face gems to create this look totally inspired by my upcoming trip to EDC Las Vegas I hope to see you all there I'll give you a quick little sneak peek we've got some rainbow action cut crease going on here uh, if you guys are interested in how I created this keep on watching the video stick around till the very end because you guys will see how I applied all of these face gems so I know it's a long video but hang out with me grab a snap and please share this video with your friends if you guys like it and give it a thumbs up if you are attending EDC I cannot wait to see you guys there everything I'm wearing today on my face will be listed down below in the description box I think that's all I got for you, you guys can follow along with me on social media if you want to but otherwise let's get into the tutorial okay you guys so this is where we are at so we've got a lot of glitter a lot of lash and of course I had to go rainbow for EDC okay, so I'm using the James Charles palette as you guys know I am gonna start on the inside I'm gonna work with some orange and reds yellow green blue and then I ended it with purple so let's just get going so to start I use my ColourPop concealer as my eyeshadow base to cancel out any lines and to just give me a nice clean base to work off of you can use an eyeshadow primer whatever you got but concealer works just fine and then i'm just taking a brush with whatever powder you guys have and i'm just gonna lightly set that with some powder okay so this is all about building this color up where it's really going to be layering and then blending together later to get this like super awesome watercolor looking eye so i'm going to be using both this like bright orange and i dip a little bit into this coral color and I'm really just going to start stamping this on right sort of like in the inner corner of my eye and bringing it up to my eyebrow. And then I'm going to dip more into the lighter orange and put that on the outside of the red there. Touching my eyebrow and coming into my crease. But we really want to leave the lid space pretty open. And with this palette, I find that the mattes just work better when you stamp them on because you need to get the color there and then you go in and blend. So we're going to do that. I'm going to go dip into the bright, bright yellow, which is one of my favorite colors. Like oh, the payoff is just so good. Stamping a little over the orange and then I'm really giving it some room sort of like in the center of my eye right in line with my iris there and it's going all the way up to the brow I'm really building that yellow up now I'm taking the like guacamole looking green and that's gonna go right over in the crease and it's gonna meet the yellow this one was the one that I had to like really build up to get that color there but woo. okay I'm really just placing everything right now where I want it so I'm using the really bright like cerulean blue oops sorry my phone dampen that out on the outside i know it looks crazy and then i took the blue again and i started flicking it out because you want to start creating that cut crease line so i'm flicking that out and again hitting my eyebrow and dragging that all the way out and coming in the crease and now i'm going to dip into the darker blue and build that up see at the bottom here i'm sort of like Stamping that more in the crease and the bottom of the flick, flickage. So you sort of start that gradient. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm dipping into this like lighter purple color and I'm gonna build that up on the top. The purple is actually pretty pigmented. So we're gonna take the purple over that blue and start blending that out. And then I'm gonna take the dark plum and come just very, very light handed on top of that darker blue. So you sort of have your rainbow built there. Now we're gonna blend it all together and I'll show you guys how to do that. So I'm going back in with my original coral shade. I'm gonna build that up a little bit more. And I like came pretty far in my inner corner and I'm using the same brush and I'm going in with that orange and now we're sort of blending together and still stamping it. So I think the orange into the yellow looks like a really nice blend right now. We're gonna make yellow brighter and just Sort of just like shaking it over the edges there. So into the green and into the orange. That green, we lost a little chunk of it there. So I'm gonna go back in and stamp that on. And you can flip it over. I mean, this brush has a little bit of a blendy side, so we'll go like that. And I'm gonna go in the crease under the yellow with the green here. And there's actually a deeper green. I dipped the tiniest bit and I'm going in with the darker green 
more in the crease. Just to start building up like that dimension. Green honestly looks a tiny bit patchy, but, and now we're gonna go in with the blue and I wanna bring back a little bit of that lighter blue. So I'm really gonna stamp that on the outside of the green and build up that crease too. Really blend it on the outside there. And then I'm also gonna go back in with my original brush. There's a darker red in here. I'm gonna dip a tiny bit into that and also come underneath the oranges because we want the darkest color on the bottom so that when we put the cut crease and all the glitter, you give that dimension in your crease of it like fading so it's going from light to dark. Looking really good. And you can keep going in and building it up as much as you want, but I think that blend looks really, really nice right now. Awesome, okay. Now it's time for cut crease. So I'm taking my concealer again and I put some on the back of my hand and then I have a nice flat um, eyeshadow brush that I like to use. And I'm gonna just place this on my lid in my inner corner, look up, and then that shows me where I have to cut my crease to. But we're covering the whole lid with concealer because we want a nice clean base to put the glitter on top of. We're gonna go all the way into the inner corner and then we're sort of drawing a line. And then you really wanna clean up this outer corner so that we can add a black wing. So I'm gonna follow the line here and then drag it up. And we want to clean all that up at the bottom there. And then I'm just going over this. I'm just patting the concealer down so that there's no creasing. You want to give yourself enough room here so that you can have a tiny bit of space between the color and the black wing you're going to add. Now I'm just taking a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm dipping into the white here. And I'm going to set the concealer and then we're gonna put glitter over it. So I'm just patting this white on, really just to set everything. Okay, and now the glitter I'm using today is this NYX glitter. Um, this is in the shade, just says 05, but it's a really nice whitish silver um, iridescent, and it's kind of got, it's got a little bit of pink in it too. So I just dumped some in the cap, and the key thing that you're gonna need here is your NYX glitter primer. I absolutely love this stuff. It's super cheap from the drugstore. This has been my go-to lately, and it works perfectly with the NYX glitters, like this literally doesn't budge and it doesn't burn my eyes, it feels good. So I'm actually just gonna use a tiny bit on my finger and I'm just going to lightly pat that all over my lid. And this does pick up eyeshadow, so you sort of have to pat it on. And before that dries, I'm just taking just a little brush, it's like a little throwaway brush I don't really care about and I'm dipping it in the glitter here and I'm gonna start packing that on. Oh my god, the NYX glitters are just like crazy good too. I mean, these look insane. So I'm gonna take this and wipe up all the fallout. Little line there. I don't wanna go too far past my eyebrow. So I've actually been loving the LA Girl Gel Eyeliner. I'm not really a big wing eyeliner kind of person, but this has been so easy to use and it's jet, jet black. And I kinda like the control of a pencil. So this has been my go-to. So I just have a little um, eyeliner brush here from Sephora. And I'm dipping into the black here. Make sure you put your cover back on. Don't leave it sitting out open because um, that's how you dry out gel eyeliners and also your gel pomades for your eyebrows. You will dry them out so quick if you leave the cap off. I am going to start by pressing this against my lash line. And then I'm sort of gonna follow the line of created. So we're gonna come I don't know why, but I just like love the way this glides on and I kind of have been preferring to use this lately. It's really, really nice. It's okay to go a little thicker with it because I'm gonna clean this up with a makeup wipe, so I am gonna wipe some of it away. Now that I've got that on, I'm gonna take my makeup remover wipe and I'm gonna clean up underneath the line here to just get it nice and straight. That is how I get it, almost, almost looking perfect. You know what I mean? Like, they're sisters, they're not twins, but you have that little space in between. Love that, and this is also why you do your eyes first if you are doing something this crazy, or if I'm doing a wing, I do my eyes first so that I can clean up after it. Um, if I had all my makeup on right now, I would not be able to clean up that wing. So that would be a problem. So now I'm gonna pop on my lash. I'm using the Scarlet Lashes from Huda Beauty. I'm gonna pop that on, I'll be right back. I love this. This is so crazy and fun for me. Oh, I forgot the most exciting part, duh. 
I also um, put on some liquid liner. This is the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Glitter Liner. And this is a nice thin, thin tip on here. So I can draw and just follow the line there. And this just adds like a whole another glam element to it. I'm gonna let that dry. How did I forget that? Oh my God, I feel so glam and ravey. I love this. I had to go all out for EDC. Um, and again, these are the Scarlet Lashes from Huda Beauty. These are super big and dramatic and lengthening. I love them. And then I use the ColourPop um, pencil. This is the Brow Pencil Brow Boss, and I'm in dark brown. And then I also set my brows with the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in Espresso. All this will be listed down below in the description box. I'm gonna zoom you guys out, and we're gonna blow through the face quickly here, and then we're gonna get to the face gems. So for face, I actually have some new products today, which I'm really excited about, because I bought a bunch of stuff in the um, Sephora VIB sale, and I bought some drugstore stuff. So what are we starting with? So this is nothing new. Um, when I think about doing EDC makeup um, and festival makeup, I need to use some of my like tried and true products because I need it to not fail me. I am gonna be sweating, dancing, and my makeup is gonna be on for 12 plus hours. So I need something long wearing, sweat proof, won't break up on me. I absolutely love my Becca. This is the First Light Priming Filter. It makes my foundation last a really long time. I don't know, just like smoothing and my skin just looks perfect when I use this. It smells really nice. It has a very light, perfumey scent. My skin is very dry. So just so you guys know. I feel like that really like fills in the pores very nicely. Okay, I'm gonna prep my skin also with the um, Photo Focus Primer Water. This is in Coconut from Wet n Wild. Really aggressive jet, but it smells awesome and it gives me that extra hydration. So now the really exciting part. I just tried this foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear because Literally everyone on YouTube and Instagram have been talking about this foundation. It's $15, I believe, from the drugstore. I'm in the, the shade Linen. This is probably my winter color right now. I'm more on the light skin with a yellow, warmer undertone. You guys, I've worn this twice now. It's as good as everyone says it is. It's beautiful, beautiful. Um, It did get a little more oily on me throughout the day. I wore it all day at work yesterday, but it is so lightweight but it has really good coverage it didn't crease on me the entire day it didn't look makeupy. I, I was blown away with this the first time i use it so what i've been doing is i've been using a damp sponge i do a full pump on my sponge and i'm going to use this for the right side of my face it's got a bit of a perfumey scent but like look at that i have a little bit of acne scarring and usually I'll bring foundation down my neck, but I don't even feel the need. And then I do a full pump on the left side of my face and for my forehead. See how good that looks? The coverage is really, really nice. It's just so pretty. And I feel like you don't need that much of it to get like a really nice coverage. Now we're good. I absolutely love this. I highly, highly recommend it. I feel like it would work for a lot of different skin types. So concealer, I'm gonna go back and, oh wait. I am going to cream contour, so I'm just using the NYX HD Studio Concealer. Um, I forget what shade I'm in. Nutmeg. And I'm going to cream contour. A little bit of this goes a long way. It's really pigmented. And if you put too much on that, then just go back in with your foundation and just like clean up any of the spots. Blend that in a little bit better. I know this looks like really aggressive when I first apply it, but it does blend really, really easily. And I wanna look nice and tanned and contoured. For some reason, this side of my face, like, look at that. It like absorbs the product, it's so weird. I put the same amount on, it's like the most bizarre thing. But I always brush this up because you don't want your contour to go down too far and make your face look muddy, you wanna bring it up. And again, just taking that and coming under here. Clean that up. Okay, now we're gonna go in with concealer and we're gonna go under my eye. This concealer is bomb, by the way. I've been testing this out. And again, I wore this all day to work yesterday and it did not crease the entire day. We're gonna go down the sides of the nose to clean up that heavy nose contour. And we're just gonna blend the concealer in and just be careful by your winged liner. So nice. And this color is a really good color for me. 
I feel like this is gonna become a holy grail combo for me. The combo of the L'Oreal and the ColourPop, both of which are drugstore pricing, is like flawless. It's so good. I literally have like no pores too. Like it's just a combo of a lot of really good products. Like the primer, this, this foundation. I almost always get creasing in my smile lines and like it looks so good. So now we're trying out a new product. I just used this for the first time earlier and it actually looked pretty good. This is the Fenty Beauty Powder. I got the mini one and I got the shade Butter and it comes with this little, little powder puff. So I put some in here and we are gonna bake under our eyes to prevent any creasing. This actually has a really nice scent from on it. That powder just made everything, I, I mean this, ooh, this is a good combo. I'm just setting the areas that like typically get oily which is my T-zone and uh, my mouth creases. So we're just gonna do that. Blend that in around my face and down my neck. I don't want the powder sitting too long. Okay, I'm gonna let my under eye bake. Now we're gonna go in with bronzer. I'm gonna use my favorite butter bronzer and deep bronze. You guys already know. I think that the tone of this, it, it's just absolute perfection. So I'm gonna stamp that on, get some color back in my face. I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit more. We're feeling snatch. For blush, I'm gonna use the um, Flower Beauty Flower Pots Blush in Peach Primrose. This is just a really pretty warm color and we've got a lot of like warm tones going on. Oh, it's such a pretty warm corally color and I like a lot of blush guys so this um blush actually lasts a really long time which is good a little extra blush on the nose I just think he looks so cute and he looks sun-kissed okay now I'm gonna take a big powder brush and we're gonna brush that away um, one thing I like to do just because I do get drier under eyes is I just take whatever is left on my beauty blender um, it's just a little damp and I push that powder in my face and it just makes me feel really like nice and refreshed. I'm gonna go back in with the Wet n Wild now. That also helps make me feel nice and refreshed and it really just like sinks everything in. You're setting it, you're melting all those layers together and it makes you look less powdery, less cakey. So now I'm gonna use my Flower Beauty Highlighting Strobe Palette. Um, we've got like three different blinding shades here. So I'm gonna take my brush. Go, I'm gonna go with the pink one, the pink and the pearly one. I'm gonna line my waterline with just a nude liner. So for under my eye, I might just go with a nice brown so that it's not like taking away from everything else, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna use a smudger brush and I'm gonna go in with this like kind of cool tone, mid-tone brown. I'm gonna go in with a deep plum color here because I think we didn't get enough purple on the top. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go in with some purple underneath here. Can you guys see that? Ooh, that was the move, that was the move. Ooh. Okay, now comes the fun part. So I'm actually gonna take this highlighter again and I'm gonna do my inner corner. So in this picture that I showed you guys, if I didn't show it already, I'll pop it up in here. She has these like face gems pretty much like on her eyebrows, which like to me sealed in the look. Face gems from Freedom Ravewear. These are supposed to go under your eye, but I'm gonna put them like on my eyebrow and we're just gonna see how this looks. Yeah, like right there. And then I have these individual gems from Lunatics that I'm gonna use, because I feel like we need a little bit more. The fun with these like individual gems, you can sort of create your own look. Ooh, should we put like a big ass one on my eyebrow? Yeah. I love it. I feel like I need the color to come under my eye a little bit more, so I'm gonna blow that out a tiny bit more and I'm gonna use a brighter pink. Alrighty, and then to wrap this up, 
I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use these colors because these are pink and blue. This is also from Freedom Ravewear. Sorry if this video is 30 minutes long, but we're gonna put these guys right under there. Last thing that's up, I just really wanted a super light baby pink color. So I'm gonna line my lips with MAC Soar. This is a nice neutral pink. And then I have Blushing Beige from Maybelline. And we're gonna seal everything in one more time. And this, you guys, is the completed EDC festival look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun creating this. I feel like this was like me being in elementary school playing with like watercolors and just back in like all of my art classes. This was so much fun. This is such an EDC look, perfect for any rave. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like this. Go check out all of my other makeup tutorials in my festival series. I have a whole playlist link down below if you wanna go check that out. And I would absolutely love it if you guys subscribe, um, come back and share this video with your friends. I think that's all I have for you. Again, check the description box. Everything will be listed down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.